Hey everyone and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. In this one, we're gonna learn a very famous concept called camera mapping. Some people just hate it, they just don't want to know how to learn, they just think it's complicated. It's so simple. In the Maxon page, I found this really quick and easy tutorial to follow and that's where I learned the camera mapping. Now, there's no video tutorial. I haven't found anyone when I look over. So I decide to make one. Camera mapping is based in you get a picture and you make a 3D model out of this picture. And it sounds easy and complicated at the same time. Well, it's just unique. And let's just end the procrastination because I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I don't want it to be greater than 10 minutes. So let's create a new project. And I'll come here and create a new background. The first thing you do is you create a background. And then you go to File, New Material, I'll double click on it. And for the color, I'll come to the texture, click on the ellipses, and I'll just get my background image that I got from that Maxon website. Okay, so now I'll just drag the material to the background. And if I click on Apple R to make a quick render, that's what I have it. So now I can see in my viewport clearly the image, what's going to make really easy for me. Okay, now you create a new camera and it's very important that you go to cameras in cameras camera. So from now on you can actually view from this camera. And we can change a couple of options here like focal length like 70 so you see the grid gets bigger. It doesn't, it's not a big deal. But anyways, now that I have a camera and a background, we'll actually start the basics of 3D geometry or camera mapping. We're going to create a cube or any primitive, I don't know how we're going to do it. And we're actually try to make the primitive look like the house here. Okay, so the first thing is we click on the cube and you go to, to basic and enable the x-ray so it's semi-transparent so you can see it better now you can see the image behind it and now the only thing you have to do is pretty much try to map it or try to match it with the, the image you're using so if you're using a sphere or you're trying to make a planet well make create a sphere and do the same process so I just use the scale rotate and move tools to kind of figure out how I'm gonna do this and try to notice the orientation of the house okay it's far from perfect but the trick here is to try to imagine the orientation try to, to imagine you're here with a camera and yeah try to place your cube like the house's position it's kind of tricky and another thing that may help you at the end is on the segment, you set it to two here and two here. It makes kind of more squarey and better to look at. Okay, so after you apply those two segments, we're gonna make the object editable. And the icon is those two spheres here. I don't know what version you're using, but if you're using 10, just click here. Okay, and then you see it kind of becomes a triangle here. I probably covered that before. All right, so now we're gonna click on the edges here and you're gonna click on the middle edge and bring it up okay so now we have kinda basic structure of our house and we're ready for the last step then you're gonna click on the cube I mean not the last step actually uh, first I have to create a new material and you double click on it and that's very important uh, you're going to luminance and you check it and you uncheck color and you uncheck specular you only have luminance and in texture click on the ellipses select the background yes good now you apply that to the cube and look look at the mess but if you click on the cube here and you select the projection to camera mapping chadan you get your camera and you drag to this camera place here take a look that's important and when you do it it automatically 
calculates the image that it's in that space. So at that point, you can get rid of your background, and you only have it. And that kind of you know, messes up our illusion, but you can just try to, I don't know, eliminate the background that's left. That is just perfect. Okay. And that was supposed to be the last step, but there's actually one more step. If you move your camera, you'll see, well, the texture will move. So, you're gonna click on the, you, the camera mapped texture. You click on Apple or Control, and you click Generate UVW Coordinates. When you do it, it's instant. You can now rotate it, and it is your object. Total 3D. You can make your animation out of it. Perfect. And that is the basic of camera mapping. That's the basics of 3D geometry. Now imagine doing this with cities. That's the basic concept. That is how you do it. I will see you next time, maybe in a follow-up, more complicated example. Thank you for watching.